your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 14 of the... I want to say Chelsea career mode then. It's the interactive road to Division 1. Of course, this is the series where you guys pick the teams that we play with heading through the ranked divisions looking for that Division 1 title. And today we're looking for the Division 6 title. We need a win from our final game of the season with Newcastle. Unfortunately, against Newcastle to ensure that Division 6 title. We're two points short of it with one game left. So it's all to play for in this one. It literally is all or nothing. But this suggestion came in from... NTBSURFD, which is the weirdest username I've seen in a very long time. Akamadafra, Ian Carney, Jack Bickmore, Minister Owl, and Fuji720P, who actually recently hit 20k subs. So uh, congratulations again to you, Fuji, for hitting that landmark. But we got to a great start with Newcastle here. Papi Cisse, we're playing in the home kit, by the way. You'll probably have been able to figure that out for yourselves by now. But Papi Cisse scored a great effort early on to put us 1 0 up. And then a second header a little bit later on, just 5th. 15 minutes into the game to give us a convincing 2-0 lead but just before half time he was going to put a spanner in the works and get himself back in it a couple of lob through balls one there and then another one here it's just enough for uh, my defence to go walkabouts and then him to get himself back in the game at 2-1 with a nice side foot finish from Loic Remy. So he's back in the game at 2-1. And unfortunately, just on the hour mark, after Recek Teote loses a ball in the midfield, another lob through ball. Colatini doesn't react. Ben Arthur's down the right-hand side, stands it up. I can't get the uh, the defender across in time. And Loic Remy scores two for him, just the same way that Papi Cisse scored two for me. And it's 2-2 after an hour. And unfortunately, we weren't going to be able to force ourselves back into the game. And it did finish 2-2. So we do get promotion from Division 5 but unfortunately we don't get promotion with a title win as well and that's the first time we haven't won a divisional title so we're disappointed I have to say to uh, to not be able to come away with silverware again as you can see uh, we had more of the ball more opportunities etc but Tim Crawl is just a fantastic keeper and I always struggle against him as you know so uh, we'll take promotion nonetheless we're still progressing through the divisions which is kind of the main aim really so uh, the titles are just an extra booster but of course we've had the division 10, 9, 8 and 7 just unfortunate not to get the 6 but can we get the fifth? We'll start with Sweden in Divisions 5. Now, this suggestion comes in from Max Antilla, Minister Al, Grunch Ringo, Donut HD, and Callum Whitelock. Now, where Sweden, of course, are a very, very good side. Ibra being the uh, the main player in that side. And I'd actually played a game with Sweden once already. Ibra scored a hat-trick, and the guy raids quit. But uh, it didn't count the game for some reason. And uh, he was playing as Werder Bremen. I beat him 3-0 in like on like the hour mark and unfortunately it didn't register the game so we tried again coming up against Cameroon and Zlatan Fish pulls out something from the bag that is just absolutely spectacular that is a great strike from 40 to 45 yards keeper really should have done better but Zlatan is just an absolute god isn't he I think I may even entitle this this episode Zlatan is god because even though you haven't seen the three goals that he scored in the previous game with Sweden that's four in two for him now for me so uh, absolutely delighted to take a 1-0 lead early on in this one but this guy uh, was okay with Cameroon I mean obviously he was trying to uh, to exploit the pace with Sammy Leto and other couple of players up top but Zlatan almost gave us an early 2-0 lead just like the uh, the previous game but unfortunately this time his goalkeeper was on hand Olsen's going to go up with a header and the uh, goalkeeper again is on hand to make a decent tip save and he's going to clear it but he caught me on the counter attack and that was where he uh, his main threat came from through to uh, to Chupo Moting and uh, he's got the pace to get away from the defensive line fortunately though our uh, goalkeeper is able to bat it away he's actually six foot five is Arkson the uh, the goalkeeper and I had to rely on him once or twice in the game to keep me in it especially in this first half at 1-0 he's going to have another opportunity here John McCoon is actually the player that's going to break from midfield go on a bit of a twisty turny run sends me with one defender has a great strike and again is Arkson's there with a good save reaching high up because of course like I say he's really really tall so he was never going to get lobbed from that sort of range even though he did start about four yards off his line so he was lucky to get back but he had a great corner technique there and uh, unfortunately for him the header went down into the side net it was a really good uh, set piece actually and uh, I couldn't have argued if uh, he had actually gone in or drawn back level with that but we were going to go even further in front here it is an 80 goal unfortunately for him uh, Ibrahimovic kind of has one or two efforts that are well blocked it does fall to uh, to my other man I think it's catching it glitch but I'm not entirely too sure it may even have been Johan Elman the number nine I'm not sure but uh, we took a 2-0 lead and that was enough for him unfortunately he had decided that the little bit of aids there was enough 
enough to, uh, to warrant him leaving the game. He'd had enough. Even though he'd actually been completely level with me on chances. We both had about nine chances, I think. Yeah, nine each. Six on target for me, five on target for him. I thought he was going to make substitutions, but he didn't. He just straight up raised quits. So we take three points from our first game in Division 5. Absolutely delighted to do so. And technically, uh, it's five goals without reply with, uh, with Sweden. So we'll jump into the third game in good spirits, playing against or as by Munich, rather, of course. Uh, another five-star team. So, of course, who do we get paired up against whenever we use a five-star team in this series? Real Madrid. You probably aren't surprised. But this suggestion comes in from Extreme Boss, Daniel Stocks, Dan Fitzpatrick, Afrin Badafra, Eric Hoff, Julie Wilkes, M Mr. FIFA 14, Liam Fitzpatrick, Temper Plays, and Zaid Ahmed. So, uh, thank you very much to you guys for the suggestion of the German Giants. And again, we got off to a very, very good start. Going 1-0 up early on. This time, it's Mario Mandzukic with a gorgeous lobbed finish. The, uh, the through ball was absolutely perfect, and Mizukic's run was just as good. Timing it to, uh, to absolute perfection, you'll see from the replay, the defender, he's level with the defender as it's played. The defender can't read, stops, and uh, that's probably just aids and the fact that he changed the player and he didn't continue his run. But still, there's still everything to do with that finish, and he does it absolutely sublimely. So we go 1-0 in front, and then it's another gorgeous through ball. And uh, Mario Goetze finishes the move off this time around. That through ball was just absolute next level. I, I didn't see it coming, I wanted to play it around the outside of the defender and I think it was Bastian Schweinsteiger just had the vision to play that ball inside the uh, the left back or the right back rather and uh, oh it's just so good that ball and uh, Goetze gets onto the end of it and it's a tidy finish across Diego Lopez into the bottom corner and it's 2-0 just before half time we were going to make it three Mandzukic plays the ball out to Robin he uh, makes a rookie error, brings the keeper out. I'm always going to cross that in in that situation. And it's, uh, it's Thiago Alcantara that's on the end of it to give us a 3-0 lead as we head in at half-time. So uh, I was surprised he was able to get on the end of the header, really, because he's not the tallest and he did have a defender on him. But fair play to the young Spaniard. Gives us a 3-0 lead, but he came back at me in the second half. And, of course, we have struggled against Real Madrid in the past. And there has been a lot of aids playing against Real Madrid in the past. And, unfortunately, he has a shot with Ronaldo. And Neuer palms it straight to Karim Benzema. Could have palmed it anywhere he liked. Plays it straight to the Frenchman. He brings it back to 3-1. And, literally, just a couple of minutes later, Cristiano Ronaldo plays a lob through ball to Di Maria. He's going to cut inside and have a shot. I read the, uh, the cut inside with Dante. It hits him on the arse, falls back to Di Maria, slides in and makes it 3-2 in the 68th minute. But, fortunately, I was able to solidify at the back we saw the game out we take another set of three points from division five and we start off with a 100 percent record in the division two wins from two eight games remaining we need another four to stay up another 10 to get promotion which is of course the aim and then again 13 if we want to take the title which would be the uh you know an extra bonus so uh, that's all for this episode guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb of course feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section down below for the next video in this series if you uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already and you would like to do so there's a link on screen as an annotation over that right fist and in the description as well there's a link in the description to my twitter at Chesnoy Gaming coming up to 500 followers over there so feel free to follow me on twitter and if you missed the previous episode in this series there is again a link on screen over that left fist so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time